So by now we have already created npm package and use this package in the client application. Let's start development server by running npm run dev to start our application in the browser. And the result of using our custom package is shown in a console. It basically have extracted usernames from the initial array of the user objects. And all of that has been implemented in previous lessons. So let's just recall how that works. In the main script of our client application, we are importing functionality from our package, but not only from the main module of our package, also from the sub-module log. And currently the project, which contains our package, has two JavaScript files, index.js and log.js, and each of these files exports one function. And these two functions we are actually importing in our client application from different sub-modules. But as we can see, currently our package is pretty simple. It doesn't even use any third-party libraries. So in this lesson, we're going to review how to integrate third-party library in our custom package. So in this file index.js, we're going to import third-party library called collect.js, which basically has lots of utilities to work with array of objects. And we're going to leverage this function inside of our plug function. But firstly, let's just rename this function on plug and lock. And then we'll basically do the same, which is extract a key from each object of the collection. But this time we're gonna use plug method on our collection. And we'll basically do the same here. But by using method plug, which library collect.js provides us with, like so. And then besides returning this result, we're also going to lock the result in this function. And right after, we return this result. So besides the main purpose of this function, we're also logging the result in the console right away. And then let's see what is going to happen if we'll try to build this library. So in the terminal, let's run npm run build. And we are receiving the following error that the collect.js library cannot be imported since this library does not exist in our package. So what we need to do is to actually install this library by running npm install collect.js. And now once I'm gonna start the build process once again, this time it worked, we still see four build files, but this time we can notice that the sizes of some files drastically increased. For example, the size of the main file index.js is now almost 60 kilobytes. And that is because when we were importing library collect.js in our script, Vit has actually taken the whole source code of third-party library and put it in the build, and which is why the resulting file of our library has much bigger size now. But before we'll solve this problem, let's just import our new function plug and lock in the client application and see if it's gonna work. So now we don't need to additionally call the lock function in order to print results in a console, because the new function plug and lock is going to extract keys from every object of the array, as well as print the result in a console. And in the console, as we can see, we are seeing expected result, with the difference that our result is contained within items property of the wrapper object. That's how the library collect.js works. It returns us not only the result in array, but an object which wraps our collection. But this is not the most optimal solution of building our libraries, because anytime we're going to import third-party library, the file size of our library will be drastically increased. So let's see what we can do about it and what Vit has to offer in this regard. So moving on, let's open up configuration file vit.config.js and in here we're gonna add another option which is called rollup options, which will be an object with the key external, and this is where we have to specify library names, which we don't need to be bundled along with the code of our library. And since by now we're using only one third-party library called collect.js, I'm gonna include only one name in this array, like so. And then let's watch the size of the bundled file index.js. So currently the size of index.js file is around 60 kilobytes, but after I rerun the build process by executing npm run build, this time we see that the file size was drastically dropped. And if we're gonna take a look at the content of the build file index.js, we're seeing only our code in here and the import of the library collect.js. 
but the source code of this library is absent. And which is why we don't even need to install the library collect.js in our project. So let's remove this dependency by running npm uninstall and dependency name. And let's just rerun the build process of our package once again by executing npm run build. So now if we'll go to the browser and check the result in our client application again, we're supposed to get an error since our package relies on the third-party library collect.js, but that library was not included in the build version of our package. But surprisingly, as we can see, we didn't receive any errors, so it worked. And the reason it worked is that previously when we started development server, vit has gone ahead and cached some dependencies in the folder .vit, which is inside of node modules. And this folder has cached version of the library collect.js. So let's just go back to the editor, open up node modules folder of our client application, and remove that folder with cached dependencies called .vit. So now let's restart development server in the client application, and we are receiving an error that dependency client.js cannot be imported, since it is missing from our client application, as well as from the build file of our library. And the first thing that comes to mind is actually install this library into our client application. So let's do just that. I'm gonna execute npm install and specify library name collect.js. And then after running npm run dev again, we're receiving a different error, similar but this time it could not resolve imports of our own package plug. Because the link to our package, which we have previously added to the node modules folder, of the client application by executing npm link is gone for some reason. So let's just add the link to our package inside node modules folder one more time by running npm link and our package name. I am not going to explain in detail what this command is doing, since we were talking about it in one of the previous lessons. So now that we have added back link plug which points to our package inside node modules folder, we can try to start development server once again. And again, the previous error is back, that it cannot resolve dependency collect.js. So we're going to solve this problem in the next lesson, when we will publish our package to the npm registry. And then instead of using npm link to make our package available to the client application, we're going to install our package as any other third-party dependency by running npm install.